Hi, I'm Dr. Mangesh Kamath. I'm a senior consultant medical oncologist, hematologist oncologist and bone marrow transplant physician. I practice at my own center, Helios Cancer and Hematology Clinics in Bangalore and the Fortis Cancer Institute in Bangalore. So a very commonly asked question is, is cancer really preventable? So my answer to this question is yes, absolutely it is preventable. But we all know that not all things are practicable. The meaning of that is for cancer to be really prevented, you have to follow a lot of good habits and a good lifestyle. Stay away from certain poisonous substances such as tobacco, alcohol, you know, red meat and also live in a very clean environment, clean air, clean water and so on. Is this really practicable? Not really. We all live in cities where probably pollution is very high. Even though you may not be a smoker, you might be walking around or even talking around people who are smoking. And a lot of the food that we eat is laden with insecticides and pesticides. So in general, avoiding all these, what we call as carcinogenic or cancer causing substances, can help you prevent cancers. But remember one thing, there are some common rules to how you can prevent cancer. One is like I told you, stay away or avoid as much as possible these cancer causing uh, poisonous substances. Second is prevention of certain infections such as hepatitis B, hepatitis C, HIV and so on. Let me give an example of a very common cancer in India called cervix cancer. In my opinion, it is unfortunate that we have such a huge burden of cervix cancer because the human papilloma virus, which causes almost 90 to 95% of cervix cancers or cancer of the uterus, as you would like to call it, can be prevented if you get vaccinated against HPV or human papilloma virus before the onset of sexual activity by a female. That is such a preventable cancer, but practically not many are actually taking the vaccination to prevent themselves from getting the cervix cancer. Next is hepatitis B virus. Hepatitis B virus is a type of virus which causes liver cancer. And we all know that there are vaccines available for preventing hepatitis B infection and thereby the cancer. Many patients come to us saying, I got lung cancer, but I have never been a smoker. In fact, I had one patient who came to me with lung cancer, swore to not be a smoker, but then later on told me that he used to hang around with a lot of his colleagues at office who used to smoke. So he was a passive smoker. There is lung cancer, bladder cancer, blood cancers occurring in farmers who are using deadly insecticides and pesticides. There is a lot of harmful uh, chemicals being used in factories due to which the employees later on in life can develop cancer. By and large, a lot of the cancers such as bladder cancer, liver cancer are preventable. But it's difficult to avoid all substances that can cause cancer. So how do you prevent cancer? One of the easiest way to prevent cancer, as I told you, is to stay away from many of these substances. And second, is to make sure that you undergo periodic checks so that even if the cancer is detected, you detect it at the earliest phase so that it can be cured in the best manner. There are a lot of screening tests available for certain kinds of cancers like lung cancer, ovarian cancer, or even cervix cancer, which if done in the right way for the entire population can help reduce the burden of these cancers by more than 80 to 85%. That is the power of prevention.